Well, if you have friends in real estate here, you probably know they are busy as ever. Homes are selling fast, and it's because of the pandemic. Morning anchor Angela Chen has the breakdown on our changing real estate landscape. In any other year, living in a bustling city would be exhilarating, buzzing with bodies and endless events. But for many in 2020, living in a city is exhausting, crowded and cramped. In Chicago, there are just so many people no matter where you go. Susan McKenna has already packed up her life in the Windy City and is moving to La Quinta this summer. We're just looking forward to being able to, to, to go outside and, and walk and just not have to worry about having so many people. Like so many others, McKenna found the new reality created by the coronavirus, stay-at-home orders and physical distancing, amplified the need for space at home. She felt boxed in both physically and mentally. City dwellers are looking to move out, and because of that, our real estate right now is hotter than our summer temps. We're really seeing a lot of buyers from L.A. and Orange County. Debbie Romness, a sales agent with Pacific Sotheby's, met with me at one of her listings in the vintage, an exclusive country club home to some famous residents in Indian Wells. She says homes in all price ranges from $300,000 condos to $10 million estates like the one we're in have been seeing a flurry of activity. And I've sold here for 16, 17 years and I've never been this busy in the summer before. Her buyers tell her part of it is the need to get away. I think it's scary right now in the city. There's tons of traffic, it's dirty, it's congested, there's riots, there's COVID. It just doesn't feel safe. This feels pretty better here. Not that we don't have our problems like the cities, but it feels good here. And the sales feel good too. Romnus says last June, Pacific Sotheby's did about $36 million in sales across the Coachella Valley. This year for June, 41 million. It's a sweet seller's market and record low mortgage rates below 3% are spurring people to buy, driving up that demand. Real estate agents say right now some houses new to the market are getting multiple offers on the day it's listed, which is a phenomenon they have not seen in a very long time. Inventory is low here, demand is high, and homes priced right are selling like hotcakes. The California Desert Association of Realtors tracks inventory and you can see the number of available homes falling each year, settling to an extreme low right now. The association says the lack of supply is pushing home prices higher. The flood into our desert is apparent. Other counties aren't seeing nearly the same buying frenzy. LA market and Orange County market in particular, they have a more stagnant market at this time. We're surpassing them in sales and as far as number of sales. So their prices aren't going up. And with COVID-19 helping people realize the newfound ability to work from home, people are seeing they can move anywhere and capitalizing on getting more bang for their buck in the desert. This is kind of one of the last bastions of affordability in Southern California. It, it really is funneling people here from, from other counties. Powell has had a phenomenal few months during COVID-19. Pent-up demand from the shutdown, coupled with his 3D virtual tour listings, no virus risk this way, led to escrow for all his listings. It's a great time to put your home on the market, especially now in low inventory. The chances of you getting what you want for it or what the market will bear for it is greater right now than any other time. You just got to find a home to move into after you sell, and good luck with that. Get ready for more new neighbors come fall here to enjoy the space and pace. That's what we're looking forward to. It's just a calmer, um, more peaceful way of life. It is, after all, the desert's best wide-open secret. In the Coachella Valley, Angela Chen, News Channel 3.